Harper playing on the left corner. Handoff inside. No, the fake and the long throw is complete to Heath Miller. And the tight end is into Indianapolis territory. And Under the din of the RCA Dome, second and eight. Roethlisberger over the middle finds Miller again. And the tight end is inside the 30-yard line. Next to last in conversions. The Bears will last. Third and six, the throw complete inside the 15, and another first down. And third down, a short three. Roethlisberger over the middle, touchdown, and wide open was Randall L. And what an opening drive by the Pitt. Was unable to get a completion. There he is just off the left tackle, the inside of the three receivers, and again, look. 84-yard opening drive. Ten plays, seven points. Play action, and wide open again. This time it's Jeremy Tooman, the other. Roethlisberger. Down the middle, finds Ward, and he could go all the way now. Had to pick up his speed, and Sanders finally gets a piece of the fake. Fake, Roethlisberger throws, touchdown! It's Heath Miller, the rookie tight end, and the Steelers have scored again. Again, a soft spot in the middle. Looking at working against Marlon Jackson, but Jackson turns him loose. They're playing a zone in the end zone. Mike Doss does not get over in time. Hitting it. Jeff Reed's extra point. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. The first sack goes to Kimo Von Olhoffen. Von Olhoffen is number 67. He just gets to the inside of Tariq Glenn, the left tackle. The guard came out. Member have not committed one today. Here comes the pressure. And Manning is slugged from behind by James Ferrier. Peyton Manning, like any other quarterback, is just human when he's under pressure. There's nothing special about him when he's trying to dodge people that are in his. On second and 20, Roethlisberger throws, and it's Heinz Ward again, close to a first season, behind Manning and Carson Palmer. And he's accurate, right on the money to Antoine. Long-time defensive lineman in the league, second and 13, screen, and it should work. Blockers for Parker, and he's all the way to the 45 with the Steelers. Third and 10, deep in his own end. Here they come. And Manning, that's a safety. That's a safety. That's a safety. It has oh, no. They're going to put him at the one. They get. And then on the punt return, 30 yard line for the Steelers and Willie Parker, who gets 10 almost. The bus is in the touchdown garage again. The plays after the punt return by Randall L. The good news is he gets up in the air. The bad news is he landed on somebody. Yeah, that's the kind of gesture you bet. Every time Pittsburgh gets the ball now. Jeff Reed adds the extra. Parker breaks a tackle. And picks up 14 yards. Indianapolis at their own 20. Blitz. And they get to him. Joey Porter off the corner. Porter with 10 and a half. Joey Porter is going to come from the left. There he comes from the left of your screen. Un do they rush three and drop eight? Or do they bring heat again? Now or never. Here, here comes come. Heat. Polamalu. And they get him at the two yard line. Again, Troy Palomalu up the middle, but there's Joey Porter one more time off the edge. Of now, there's three timeouts here left for the Colts. So, the so they got to keep him out of the end zone. Dennis. Follow oh. the ball. Picked up by Nick Harper. Oh, my. Harper with Roethlisberger to beat. Roethlisberger makes the tackle at the 43 yard. Scuffled, he suffered a three-stitch wound in his right thigh, and here he is playing the game of his life, and the tackle by Gary Brackett dislodges the ball from Bettis, and here's Harper. Well, Brackett puts his helmet right on the football, and really, it was Ben Roethlisberger with a sensational effort.
Jerome Bettis went in high. He was running straight up, exposing the ball, and Brackett put a hand right on it. Peyton Manning uh, and the play calling there was a bit surprising. They did not buy more yardage for Vanderjat, who now must kick this 46 yard field goal to tie. And it's no good. He missed it. Not even close. Wide right. Games in the playoff round and get to the championship game. And how happy are the fans in Denver that they are going to host the AFC championship game?